All right, doing a, another drive-by video of the properties south of the Hawaiian. I wasn't going to start here because these are all the oceans buildings and you know they have a lot of money and they have like monstrous seawalls and no problem. So I'll just pause this until I get to something else. Okay, I'm coming to the end of this stretch of really expensive, really nice ones. I unpaused just to show that here's one. I'm not even sure which one this is. They actually have a handicap accessible ramp. It's the only one of this whole stretch of rich buildings that has a ramp like that. And then you can see this next place um, has a new steel panel seawall, much like the Hawaiian seawall. And then you start getting into the residences, residential area. Uh, there's a strip here where they had lots of damage to, so I'm going to pause this again. All right, just coming to an end of the string of residences, you can see this last one is still in really bad shape. Their pool's destroyed. Just got some trap bags there. It doesn't not much protection. And then we come to Frank Rendon Park. And they were working on this last spring and then they just stopped working on it. So really not much recovery here at all for the I don't know if that's a city park or a county park. I think it's probably a Daytona Beach Shores City Park. But they have not done anything more about that. And then we get into the stretch that I was planning to cover. These are this is the string of hotels and resorts and whatever. No tell motels that are south of the Hawaiian. So this is the shores and uh, they survived the hurricane nicely but they rebuilt their stairs there. And then you have the access ramp which is still kind of in sad shape but I think they do, yeah they still use it some. Peck Plaza, their seawall survived the hurricane. They've repainted it, but they did have issues down here on the corner. So they got new stairs for beach access. And then that seawall there is new because that was all destroyed by the hurricane. So that gray seawall was built back up. I think this is the Holiday Shores Beach Club. They've done, well, they put the ring of trap, the string of trap bags in, but that's about it. You can see their pool still exposed there. It's in pretty sad shape overall. Seascape Inn, I think, might be this one. No, no, I still, that might be the Holiday Shores. So this is the Emerald Shores, and their seawall's in good shape. Much smaller seawall than all the real expensive places. They have cut through stairs back there for beach access. And this little blue thing is aqua blue is the Seascape Inn. They've got new stairs for beach access. Their seawall's in pretty good shape. And here's one of the expensive places, a Sherwin condo. They are building their seawall, about ready for a concrete cap on top of the panels there. And uh, still a lot of work going on and needs to be done there. And then you can see when you get to the end here that they've still got a whole mess down here on this end. So they've got a long way to go. So this next place, which is the peninsula, their seawall is almost built up. They only had to rebuild part of the seawall, so this one. These are, I believe, some sort of a synthetic panel from what I could tell. Quite a bit different than the seawall at the Hawaiian. They have new beach access stairs. And then this part of the seawall survived the hurricane. And uh, so they only had to rebuild part of it. They're almost done with that part, but still need to cap it off and all that. So after Peninsula, we have a little place called Sand and Surf. And they took a beating and it looks like they've done nothing to it. Well, they are working on it. So that's part of the Sand and Surf. This place, I don't know which, which is what here, but they've got those little PVC panels that's not much more than the trap bags. But you can see they've got a lot of big concrete pieces up there. They're planning, they're getting stuff done. They're working on it now. This is the Perennial Vacation Club. 
their seawall is kind of beat up but still standing um, we've got chain link fence in there they haven't done much of anything since the hurricane and we have an expensive place here the Bella Vista their seawall looks a lot like the Hawaiian seawall big steel panels they have with their concrete cap they are just building their stairs they're kind of in the same boat that the Hawaiian is in they got a much later start than the Hawaiian did, but they've basically caught up. So at least their seawall and beach access are just about complete. Pretty sure this is the Delta Hotels. Delta seems to be going with a really short seawall. So I don't know the theory behind that, except like it's just easier for the waves to get over, I guess. Just a little, little stair. Maybe they had to make since they had to make much smaller stairs, maybe that was their strategy with a super low seawall. That seems weird to me. This is the Cabana Colony. They've got some PVC panels in there. I don't know if those are just temporary or not. Kind of weird how they're all different heights and jagged and stuff. Shoreline All Suites. More work going on there. I think this little place is the Seven Seas. They have a new seawall, a little bit higher than that other one, but still pretty low. Pretty much intact though, I mean, completed. Then we come to another expensive place, the Caribbean Condo. Again, their seawall held nicely. They've rebuilt their stairs for beach access. So they're in pretty good shape there. The Sun Viking was kind of quick on the draw. They, their seawall survived. Their beach access was gone, but they were one of the first ones to build not one, but two beach access stairs for a relatively small footprint place. But they seem like they're in pretty good shape. Then another expensive place, the St. Martin. Again, it looks a lot like the Hawaiian seawall with steel panels. They got the concrete cap on that part. And then they're still working on the concrete cap in this other part. So nearing completion of their seawall, but not quite there. Could be East Coast Marine, same as the Hawaiian end, just based on the way it looks, because it looks the same as ours. So kind of thinking they use the same company for that. This next place is the uh, Hilton Rush with three H's Tapestry. Supposed to open in a year or two. They obviously have done nothing, zero. And uh, the building's been closed for way before the hurricane and it's pretty, not much happening. And then the Ocean Court, right next to the Minerva Avenue ramp. The Ocean Court took a beating. They put up trap bags back after the hurricane and basically have done nothing else since. And then we come to my place, the Hawaiian Inn. I've already shown this, but it will just do a drive-by before I turn off the recorder. We've got tourists up here on the seawall, so they're not supposed to be there. That's awesome. They just think they're very cool. And our beach access stairs, they've worked on this for three days, although yesterday the afternoon was rainy. So they haven't made huge progress in three days, but they're getting there. We'll have beach access before we have, <laughs> we'll have stairs built before we're able to use them because we're still not allowed in the yard that leads to the stairs. So that's the Hawaiian, that's it. All right, bye.